Hello everyone. I want to tell you this dream that I had. And in this dream, I saw the Pope. And I saw Obama with him standing in Israel. And Israel gave them the keys to the kingdom, to the holy city of God. They just gave it to them. And I saw a blood moon over Israel. And about that time I heard weeping. But it was tears of joy. They were rejoicing to see Obama and the Pope standing there in the middle of Jerusalem, in the city of God. And about that time I turned around and heaven was opened. And I heard a trumpet blowing and it was louder and louder. And I heard a voice saying, The abomination that is being done in the holy city of God, the filth is rising to the top. And about that time, y'all, the earth started to shake and Israel was divided. Dear merciful God, and the stars began to fall. And they were falling all around me. And as they hit the earth, the earth was on fire. It was burning from the stars falling to the earth. And I turned and I looked and I saw the evil angels as far as I could see. Dear Lord, and they were crying out loud, hurry, hurry, our hour has come. And I could see demons in the spirit of the dead, of the wicked, rejoicing because their hour has come. And Obama was there. And the new Pope was there. And about that time, the earth shook again. And hell had been opened wide. And the fallen ones were now free from their prison and they moved so fast it was like a black cloud and that black cloud was over Israel and I could not see the moon I could not see there was no light in the heavens I couldn't see anything it was just black and about that time I heard a trumpet sounding and I looked up, and the sky parted. Dear merciful God, I've never saw anything like this before. Now, I've had some dreams, but this dream was the wildest dream I've ever had. And the heavens were parted. And I looked, and I saw Jesus. He was standing there. And beside him was standing the angel of the Lord. And it was the angel Michael. And I saw him standing there, and he was blowing the trumpet. And it was loud. And when I looked at Jesus, all I could see was a bright light. He looked like the sun. And I was rejoicing. Praise God. I was rejoicing to see my Lord and my Savior standing there shining like the sun. And the angel sounded again. And God was calling his saints home. And I was ready, y'all. I was ready to go. I was never so glad to hear anything in all my life that Jesus was calling us home. At last, we were going home. And I looked to the right, and there was a gold door. And I was amazed that the door was gold, covered in gold, and the door opened. And in this dream, there was a clock. And I looked at the clock, and it was 12 o'clock, and I'm thinking, that is weird that I'm seeing a clock in the middle of this dream. And it was 12 o'clock. I will never forget it. As I was going up through the door, I saw 12 o'clock, and the dream was over. Now, y'all, I've had some dreams before, but I've never had a dream like that one before. And I don't, this dream changed me. Somehow, I don't know what this dream did to me, 
But after I had that dream, I have been set. And uh, even Preston uh, came to see me today, and I told him, I said, Preston, I just really don't feel like talking or anything. I said, I'm not feeling well, and I'm a little sick. And I said, but whenever I start feeling better, I'll give you a call. But I knew that I had to get up and make this video while the dream was still in me. And I am still shaking as I'm talking to you right now. I am still shaking from this dream. And I really don't know what else to say. I, I really don't. For once in my life, I really don't know what to say. But this dream really shook me. May God bless you all in Jesus Christ, most holy name. And please, as you watch this video, I ask all of you to stretch forth your hands towards me right now and pray for me and to pray for healing in my body because I bind that lying devil away from me in the name of Jesus that's trying to attack my body right now because greater is he that's in me than he that is in this world. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.